So we're going to use calculus to help us find the equation of a tangent to a function at a given point. So it's the 2007 Leibniz-Cert Higher Level Paper 1. And we've been asked to find the equation of the tangent to y is equal to 1 over x at the point 2 a half. So we've been given the point where we want um, this tangent. Um, and what's important about that is that the value of x at this point is 2. When we differentiate a function, so we want to differentiate the function y equals 1 over x, we find the rate of change of that function. So we find the rate of change of the y value for every one unit change in the x value. And when we're talking about this in the context of a graph, that's actually the slope that we're finding. So we're going to find the slope of this function by differentiating in terms of x, and then we need to specify the value of x that we're interested in. In this case, we're interested in the slope when x is equal to 2. That point on the curve when x is 2 and the point is 2 and a half. So to differentiate this function we're just going to first change its format. So we're going to use a rule of indices to make it look uh, in the form y is equal to x to the power of minus 1. So now we can apply the power rule to this to differentiate. So dy dx is equal to minus 1 x to the power of minus 2. So the power multiplies by the coefficient of x, which in this case is 1, and then we reduce the power by 1. And we can just um, tidy this back up by again using that rule of indices and saying that this is minus 1 over x to the power of plus 2. So if we have a power of minus 2 on uh, the top, we can put that x to the bottom of the fraction and make that to the power of positive 2. So this is the slope of our function at all values of x. And so now we want to specify at the value where x is equal to 2. So dy dx is equal to minus 1 over 2 squared, which is minus 1 over 4. And so minus 1 over 4 is the slope of the tangent to the function y is equal to 1 over x at the point 2 a half. We can now find the equation of the tangent using the equation of a line formula. So the equation of line formula, which is in our tables, is y minus y1 equals m on x minus x1. So remember that a tangent is just a line. So if we want the equation of a tangent, we're basically just asking um, to find the equation of a line. We know that x1, y1 is the point 2, a half. And we know that m is the slope, which is minus a quarter. So we're going to sub these values in. We have y minus y1, which is a half, is equal to m, the slope, minus 1 over 4 on x minus x1 is 2. I'm going to multiply um, both sides by 4 to get rid of the fractions. Um, and on the left hand side that gives me 4 on y minus a half is equal to, and then on the right hand side it will get rid of that 4 from the denominator to give me minus 1 on x minus 2. And we'll multiply out the brackets so we get 4y minus 4 times minus a half is minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by x is minus 1x, and minus 1 by minus 2 is plus 2. We're going to collect all the terms on the left-hand side. In general, we like to have the equation of the line in the format ax plus by plus c equals 0. So I'm going to have to get rid of the minus x and the plus 2 from the right-hand side. So I'm going to add an x to both sides to give me x plus 4y minus 2, and then I'm going to subtract the 2 from both sides to give me a minus 2 is equal to 0. And then my final answer is x plus 4y minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 equals 0. And this is the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals 1 over x at the point 2 a half. So to have a look at what this looks like on the graph, um, the curve y equals 1 over x, we could find some points on this curve by uh, subbing x values into the calculator. What's really important to note though is that there is no um, y value for an x value of 0. This function is discontinuous at 0 and the reason is because if we sub in 0 into this function y equals 1 divided by 0 that's not something we're allowed to do in maths. The answer to that is undefined and so there is no y value for a corresponding x value of x is equal to 0. So you can see on the y axis here where x is equal to 0 another name for the y axis is um, the line x equals 0, we have no corresponding y value. And so this green curve that I've drawn um, of the function y is equal to 1 over x, 
doesn't cross the line x is equal to zero. Um, these are called asymptotes. So asymptotes are lines where our curves don't cross. Um, technically, they're not on the Leibniz higher level course anymore, but they are important to look at them um, in the context of uh, both limits and continuity. As we said, this function, this graph is discontinuous at the value x is equal to zero. There's no corresponding y value. And so this is called a discontinuous uh, function. It has a break in it. Uh, we can see our tangent here. Um, it's this line that comes down and touches the curve at the point two a half. And what we had to find was we had to find the slope of this tangent. We found in the previous part of the question that the slope of this line is minus one over four. For every one unit change in the x-axis, the y value drops by minus one over four. And so when we have a point, which we do, and we have a slope, we can find the equation of the line. And the equation of this tangent was that x plus four y minus four is equal to zero.